completely changed the way we shop. But first, it's time for a news update, so let's check in with the newsroom. Hi there, Tegan Lawson with you at the Southern Cross News Desk. A man has been reunited with his long-lost pet cat. The feline had been missing for more than 18 months, but the cat turned up in Port Puri, it was microchipped and was able to be returned home. Eleven eucalyptus trees will be replaced in Port Augusta's main square. They've been assessed and deemed to be moderate to high risk. They'll be replaced with trees more suited to the local climate. A plan to tackle problem fountain grass has been launched. The Air Peninsula Natural Resources Management Board will join with Council to tackle the pest. Areas on Hummer Hill and Rocky Hill will undergo site-specific burns from tomorrow. The newly built Port Lincoln Airport Terminal is still no closer to opening and remains closed to the public. It's hoped to be open by the second week of August, but there's still no confirmation. Council is working to resolve building defects. And Broken Hill residents have been targeted by an overseas scam. Police have received a number of reports recently. The foreign callers demand money or try and convince people that they're owed large amounts of cash. A quick look at the weather details now. A top of 15 degrees and a mostly sunny day in Broken Hill tomorrow. 16 the top for Wyala, mostly sunny there as well. We will have more on these stories tonight on Southern Cross News at 6.30.